Hello and um, welcome everyone to the walk around video here at your next car, the 2019 69 Reg G2330i. Vehicle is presented in the Sapphire Black Metallic, features the warranty body enhancement kit alongside some fantastic options and features from BMW. As you can see, being the M Sport, we've got that really nice and sharp looking front end with the LED headlights, LED fog lights, and of course the in-house enhancement kit that really brings out the best of the G23 series shape. We have added the brand new 20 inch alloy wheels to the car, also in the high gloss black. Again, a really nice look for the G23 series with the black bodywork, black alloys, and this one does also come with the black interior. Down the side, you'll see the carbon effect Sill extensions, satin side vinyls, and YNC and performance decals. Again, the carbon effect features on this car really do break the exterior up nicely, but all at the same time being subtle and very effective. Rear sun protection glazing, black Venenskia leather with the grey highlights on this car. Of course, you've got the ambient lighting, which you can change out if the blue is not to your taste. You can print your colours to choose from. In the back of a G23 series, there is tons of space, plenty of comfort, both plenty of head and leg room. 3C Isofix, you've got the central folding armrest as well. Rear passengers have also now got a digital adjustment and automatic rear climate, again, making things that a little bit more comfortable, especially on longer journeys. You do also get as standard the M Sport Plus brakes on any of the three litre variants of the G23 series. Around at the back, we've got the carbon effect rear diffuser again, which fits in very nice and subtly. I think it's one of the nice looks for the black sapphire exterior colours, and it does work very nicely indeed, as does the gloss black rear diffuser. Boot space wise, again, this has been improved from this car's predecessor, and you do now get split folding seats as standard. But as you can see, very impressive boot size in there. Lovely three dimensional rear lights, again, they look very menacing on this black. 330i i'll just demonstrate those split folding seats for you really quickly so as you can see that's just going to give you that little bit more space should it be required and we'll go through and take a quick seat inside the car so we can go through this interior that's packed full of clever useful and innovative technology quickly fire up the car sorry about that turn that down <clears throat> we've got the live cockpit which again, just gives you plenty of information all at the same time as not being overly distracting. I think it's really useful, especially having that center map view. It saves you having to glare over it to the left. Quickly look down, you can see where you are on the map view, but again, you can change that out for something of your own preference if you'd prefer. Covered just over 33,000 miles, so it's a nice, pretty much bang on average mileage car. We'll just switch the ignition on so we can see a few more functions and features. You've got cruise control, speed limiter, voice and volume controls there, an all new eight speed sports automatic gearbox. This system up here is fully touchscreen. However, you don't need to rely on touchscreen if you don't like it, because the iDrive scroll wheel is still provided. The nav system is by far one of the easiest and quickest systems to use out there. I'm pretty sure most people could jump in here and use this system very effectively. So as you can see, if we scroll around and find a destination we want to tap in and set a destination to, for example, just there, it's as quick and easy as that. Jumping back to the main menu, comms wise, we've got regular Bluetooth audio and telephone, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I do know that is hugely important to a lot of people out there when purchasing a vehicle is having their Apple CarPlay or Android Auto now. So it's nice to have both of those. Plenty of multimedia inputs, including DAB, Spotify already pre-installed, music collection, USB and Bluetooth line. And of course, any other, other pre-installed media apps that you do use will work with the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. If we just check out the car, for the servicing status side of things. Next service not due for 6,000 miles. It is due a brake fluid inspection, so we will have that inspected and changed if required. In terms of the apps, of course we've seen those two, but there are more, including Amazon Alexa and then Lap Timer, very relevant considering this is the 330i. And lastly, I'll just quickly fire the car up one last time. Drop it into reverse so you can see the rear facing reversing camera, front and rear sensors, and of course, click home and press sport you can see we can configure the sport individual modes so you can set up how you want the car to react to pressing those features including how the steering wheel weight up how the transmission acts and including the engine modes as well so again nice to have that adjustability in there 
as well. So there is a look around this superb G2330i M Sport. If you'd like to know more, including prices, funding options or anything further, please do simply check out the links I'll leave available for you below in the description. For the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Do, of course, take care and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.